Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my own four nails as usual, the four on my left hand, um, my index, middle, ring finger and pinky nail. So I'm going to be doing some black and white nails. So I'm going to do one nail like the ones that I've got on this hand that I already did a video for. As you can see, they're really grown out now and they look absolutely gross. But I'm holding out because I'm going to be doing my holiday nails soon. So I'm just going to give them another couple of weeks and then I will get to doing them again for a video. But... I really really loved this design and I actually forgot to take a picture of these nails before they grow out so I was quite sad about that but I'm going to put them on one one of my nails for this set and then basically what I'm going to do is just completely random just do four obviously the four nails that I usually do um in different ways in black and white like different black and white designs so I'm going to do one nail um I don't know how it's going to look but I'm going to do it anyway I'm going to use this stamping plate uh, from Clear Jelly Stamper, the name is down here, it is CJS113 and I'm going to use these, I'm going to do those in black and white on one nail and then like I said I'm going to do the foil, um, like the black and white foil on another nail so I'm going to do that, oh got hiccups, going to do that one first because I know what I'm doing with that one so I'm just going to get straight into it so I'm using my Evol foil gel from Sparkle Supplies UK and just pop in a coat of that um, I know you can just about see me but I will come in when I need to I'm just going to pop a coat of that over my middle nail because that's the one that I've decided is going to have the foil on so I'm going to pop that in there so yeah I've got two nails planned so doing this one with the foils and I'm going to do one of my nails with this stamping plate um, and then I'm not really sure what to do with the other two but obviously I know that I want them to be black and white so I need to come up with something in black and white to um finish the set off sort of thing we're just going to do these two that i've planned first and then i can have a look what they look like and see what i want to do um so i'm going to wait for this to cure because i'm curing it for a full 60 seconds and when it comes out we can apply the foils i'm using the black and white from sparkle suppliers uk ebony and bianco um i'm just going to cut a little bit off of these so they're easier to use and then i will come back here to apply them so i've cut some pieces off just to make it a little bit easier to do it um so i'm just going to pop some patches on this nail i'm going to start with the white you've already obviously saw me do this because it was in a, a video of me doing my own nails recently so i'm just going to do the black and then last but not least i'm just going to pop as much white as i can get on there now i've done the black And then once I've done that, I can move on to the next nail. I absolutely love this effect. Like it's just, it's just magical. I love it. I love black and white foil. Anyway, so next nail, I have already base coated um, all of my nails just because I didn't know what I was going to do with them. So I am going to very gently just wipe over the ring finger to get the majority of this, the tacky layer off, ready for me to stamp. Okay, so I've got my stamping plate here. The bottom corner i've got my stamper and a lint free roller a lint free roller a lint roller to clean it um, and then i've got a scraper next to me and these are the stamping polishes that i'm going to be using i'm using the moyu one from amazon in white and then i'm using the moira one in black so i'm just going to go in with these and i'm just going to use these two in this bottom corner i don't know if you can see it you can't just about there we go just going to use those two there, scrape off the excess, pick that up, just to take the bottom off this um, and then I'm just going to place that where I want it on my nail. So I want obviously some black and white on this, um, so I'm just going to pop these, I'm going to put that one there and this one up here like so. I'm going to give them a quick clean up with some acetone on a nail art brush. Just being really careful because I don't want to disturb my peel off base coat that's underneath the design. I'm just bearing that in mind. don't want to mess about too much. So that's the black ones done. I'm now just going to go in with the white. So again, I'm just going to get some acetone on my lint free pad, wipe off that. And then I'm going to pick them up with the white this time instead. I don't know what is happening with my phone with the focus today. Apologies if you can hear background noise. It is my air conditioning unit. I cannot work in this room without it. I would melt. 
I've just picked that up in the most annoying place. So I'm going to quickly just do that again because I wasn't paying any attention in that second. So again, it's going in with my white. If you only put it over the area that you need, obviously it just makes it a lot easier with clean up on your stamper. Because you'll have less to remove. And then I'm going to figure out where I want to place them. So I'm going to put one here, I think. And then the other one. Um, a little bit off there, I think. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. So I'm just going to go in again with that same brush with some acetone and just get the excess from down that side off and that's that I actually really like how that's turned out very cute so I just need to figure out what I'm doing on the other two now I just want it to be really black and white and just totally random so I'm going to just put some black and white polish on my palette and I'm going to use that I think so I'm going to go in with my brush i just clean it off because I've been using it on a client today Okay, so on my index finger, again, I'm just going to take off the tacky layer really quickly and gently so I don't disturb that. Uh, what's it called? What is it called? Uh, peel off base. I'm just going to apply some black, first of all. Can't talk today, not sure what is wrong with me. The heat is obviously getting to me more than I thought. <laughs> I'm really not cut out for the heat, like it's not for me. I'm not a fan of hot weather at all um it just isn't my my uh comfort temperature heat not for me but i'm not complaining about it too much because i do feel sorry for those people who do love it and get really mad that we hardly ever have it so i'm gonna let them enjoy it and then once i've done that in black i'm gonna do something similar in white further down and then once I've got my shape and my outline sort of done I can then just fill it in focus would be great and then the pinky I think I do know what I'm going to do now but I'm just going to keep it relatively simple because we've obviously got a lot going on in this set um, so I don't want anything too crazy. I haven't finished these two nails by the way. I'm going to do a little bit more on them. When they are cured. Why does it keep getting out of focus? I wish I could paint my nails by looking at them through the camera. That would be really really useful. And I could see exactly when it goes out of focus, but I can't. I can't do them by looking through the phone. It's just not. It's not going to happen. But anyway, so once I've done that, and I'm happy with the application of that one, I am just going to start on the pinky before I cure those. So again, just taking off the tacky layer real quick. Um, so I'm going to go in with the pinky in with the pinky in with the white on my pinky first and i'm going to start by getting rid of this hair there you go i'm going to start about here and bring that in and we're going to do like a v french sort of effect i'm going to do white on one side and black on the other so obviously i'm starting with the white because there is going to be a slight overlap and the black is going to cover the white a lot better than white would cover black so I'm just filling that in that hair is definitely still there very annoying and then once that's filled in I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure because I need the other nail to fully cure as well so this is what we're looking like so far so for my index finger now that it's cured I've got a dotting tool and I'm going to go in and pop some white dots on the black area just a couple probably two 
and then I'm going to do the same thing with the black on the white area. Am I focused? I am. Oh my god. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my brush that is nice and clean and I'm just going to create some stars with those dots. That was really not very straight, was it? I can't pull down at all. It's really not the movement for me. I'm going to do the white one then. I'll have to clean my brush off. Okay, now we're out of focus. I'm not going to attempt to pull it closer to me. I'm going away from myself because I find it much, much easier. And then I'm just going to clean off the black from my brush and go in and do the same with the white. terrible and then I'm just going to pop some dots of each colour around in between as well just to fill in any gaps I'm definitely not happy with these black stars up here but I'm also not patient enough to sort it out so we're just going to leave them be <laughs> So it looks cute anyway, so we'll leave it like that. So this is what we're looking like so far, and then we're going to go in with the black uh, for the pinky now. And basically, I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Very, very cute. And to be fair, you could just leave it like that with just the outline. That looks really pretty, but I am going to fill it in. But that's always an option. And then once I've filled it in, that's them done. So I'm going to pop them back in the lamp for a full cure. In fact, I think I'm going to pop some dots in the middle of those flowers. So I'm going to put white dots in the middle of the black. And then black dots in the middle of the white ones. like so and I think that just really sets it off so I'm going to pop this in the lamp I'm going to top coat them off camera and then I will come back here and show you what they look like when they're done so here is the finished design I absolutely love how these turned out they are so cute um I love black and white as well so these are right up my street because I just don't think you can go wrong with black and white black or white nails um but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I'm definitely going to take them off now remember before I cut the video off like I usually do uh, where's my scraper? I'm sure you're probably getting bored of watching me remove them now because I include it at the end of every video but obviously you don't have to watch it you can just click off so it's always a choice. I'm just going to go in and peel them away ready for me to film a video literally right now after these. This is the magic of peel off base it makes my life really easy when it comes to content creation for YouTube especially when they come off so easy, I love it. I wasn't expecting this one to come off so easy because there's not really that many layers on it, but it did, so that's good. I'm sad about this one actually, I'd love a full set of those. I might have to do that at some point. I might do it with neons actually for my holiday, think about it. There we go, there's a tiny, tiny bit there, tiny bit down here. Perfect. Gone. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll be back very soon with another one. Bye.